Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, that's so good. They actually went there with Rukia's face just full on decomposing in front of us. Oh my god. All right, good evening, everybody. It's still just about at the time of recording Bleach Monday. Apologies for the lateness of this upload. There was something else I had to do tonight before getting round to watching Bleach, but the time is finally here. It's time for episode five of Bleach the Thousand Year Blood War, titled Wrath as a Lightning. And I'm not sure I'm ready for this. <laughs> I'm not sure I'm ready for this episode. This week's episode promises to be a heartbreaker, um, a gut-wrencher, it could be a difficult watch, and I'm really, really excited for that. Not going to lie. I'm, there's a lot of stuff this week that I am I'm really looking forward to seeing. I gushed about last week's episode, and I'm expecting this to be another equally fantastic 25 minutes or so. Um, yeah, really, really excited. Let's just crack on with the live reaction. As always, there will be spoilers for the Thousand Year Blood War arc in this video as we go along, as I'll be watching it from the perspective of someone who has read the entire series. But yeah, without further ado, let's just crack on with this thing. I am so excited to see if any of my predictions were right. But I just think there's going to be a lot of some potential tearjerker moments this week. And I'm really hoping, because the emotional stakes are so high, that they get it right. But here we go. Okay, so we are actually starting with... This is the very beginning of 500. I like that little uh, sort of glimmer of hope in the uh, soundtrack there when they notice Ichigo's coming. They're, at, they're doing more of this part than I thought they would. I was already wrong. I don't know why. I just expected them to kind of miss out this R&D department bit, but I'll always take more Akon. Oh, here comes Jadambo. Okay, so there's a bit of a mixing around here. There should be a couple of things we see this week. That I'm very, we're about to see Pepe, I think. There he is. Oh, I didn't see that in the manga. Bechanel is a uh, staff, is pink. That makes sense. We should also see, hopefully, this week who Rukia was fighting. And of course, I cannot wait to hear Ads not talk properly. I cannot wait to see the fear in action again. Like I just hope they go all out with that. I like the, the sense of desperation. That's really good. I always thought this might be a difficult scene to adapt. This is the scene from 500 that was kind of the, the kind of like focal point of the chapter where Ichigo could just hear everybody over the comms and it was this horrible moment for him where he couldn't he knew he couldn't save them because he was trapped this is really good I like that black and white transition and then that last bit from Rukia that's kind of interesting because I don't remember thinking that was Rukia in the uh, in the source material oh damn just that absolute anger in his voice wrath as a lightning popping up there I, I knew they wouldn't be able to do it, although actually they've tried to keep the uh, title somewhat similar to how it appears in the chapter, it's just obviously not in the same uh, uh, location, So, but that's cool, that's awesome. They are getting across that sense of desperation. Kyurige OP, pour one out, he's not going to be around for much longer. <laughs> Damn, he just completely gone crazy. Oh, it's so cool here in the first shrift though. I don't think we're going to see him by the way. I don't think I, I I reckon they will do this exactly the same as they do in the in the source material. Just just a tease. Here it comes. <laughs> that kind of looked like a cero. Oh, an undignified end for Kira Gayopi. But I salute you. You were a great character. Yeah, there you go. So exactly the same cliffhanger ending as five hundred. No tease as to who that could actually be. I think I actually think they will keep that character's treatment. I don't know why I'm saying that character there. I said they were spoilers. I don't know why they're keeping Grimjo's treatment. Uh, I, I think they'll probably keep it the same. Oh, God. See, look, it's just moving straight on to another bit that I'm like... Ah, oh, as looks so cool. We're going to hear him speak any second now as well. Oh, I love that his hands are shaking and stuff like that. That's so good. It's, like, so sinister. <laughs> he sounds so good. He sounds like creepy, but like not over the top, which I think is important. He is still just a man, technically, at the end of the day. Let me just crank this up. I love like the echoey on his voice. That's cool. They've got the uh, eyes rolling. That's good. He's creepy, but, uh, but I like that it's not like cartoonish. 
That's it's good. I really like it. Oh, he's got like a really sort of slow, creepy, eerie voice. And they're actually doing it seems like the entirety of his fear monologue. Which I'm alright with, I just wasn't really expecting it. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> that is so awesome. Oh, his voice is so good. Oh man. Anime only watchers. We're in for a crazy time of it this week. Oh my god, he looks so good! With his eyes like that. Oh my god, these two panels are so nice. Oh my god, there's another crazy moment coming up now, isn't there? This is where the uncensored nature of the series may really come into fruition. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god, that's so good. They actually went there with Rukia's face just full on decomposing in front of us. Oh my god. I mean, that's the only way you can do it, right? Like, if you're really going to get across as is fear, you have to do it right. And now the flies. They've got creepy red eyes. Oh my god, that's so good. We cannot escape our instincts. Oh my god. I mean, this you have to understand as well. This chapter was... Com <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that looks amazing when it comes out of the medallion. You oh my god, he's got, the, he's got his swords up. You have to understand. That oh my god, they're doing a reverse version of... That is so good, of Biakia doing it instead. And then the close-up. That's really clever. Yeah, 502 was just a, uh, just a crazy chapter back in the day. I'm very happy with that. Oh my god, look at that. That's the that's the end of 501. Uh, 501, 502 were both cra both absolutely crazy. <laughs> oh, we're about to see. Eee, it's Meninus. There you go. There you go. I actually think that makes perfect sense. It's the only one that really works. Giselle would have zombified her. Little Toto would have just eaten her. And that did sound like a dainty princess voice. I th like I think I said in the... Uh, I really like the sinister, kind of evil way that Simbon Zachary emerges from the medallion. I can't quite remember. Is it a different colour now that Az is using it? I think it might be, actually. That's cool. That's a panel straight from the manga. Oh, damn, man. Biaki is keeping his arm this time, it looks like. Oh, my God, Renji's... Oh, man. Jeez, he went flying! I as not sounds absolutely perfect. <laughs> he looks so good as well. You have to understand that sequence right there where Biakia is getting shredded, Renji screams at him. I think I've mentioned it before, it's one of my favourite sequences in the entire source material. So I was always a little bit worried about this. I'm very happy. <laughs> I mean, I think it was handled really well. I mean, it's so difficult to do as well. The shattering of his blade. <gasps> oh, he has lost his arm. That's less gory, though, than it was in the... Basically, they didn't include the rib cage, Which I think makes sense, because... You know, he obviously does survive, so... But that still is like... That's just like that... that somber, dour music. Hashwolf? See, I'm not surprised they removed Hashwolf's line about Biakia being dead. <laughs> because it, it just is better without it, I think. So are we going to get to see some of this fight now? Yes! Oh, wow, look at Jerome. He's absolutely massive. That's cool. This is cool. Yeah, see, look, we're not getting loads, but... Berenice? This is good. It's about as much as I think we could have reasonably hoped for. <laughs> Better at just getting his throat ripped out. Lloyd Lloyd. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with this. I think this is the sort of thing that the anime absolutely... You, you have to understand that those fights got, like, a panel a piece. So that's... I'm pretty happy with that. Nice. That was cool, yeah, that was so good. That was awesome. I love that he's 
you you heard Mark just blocking it with his arm. Again, much like last week, so far this is feeling pretty faithful for the most part. Um, and that includes the way they've actually adapted the scenes. It's pretty faithful. There are a couple of little moves around, but nothing too egregious, nothing crazy. I'm liking this a lot. And you really have to appreciate as well that you are you are right in the centre, I think, of some of the toughest material. I love that Tenzin Zangetsu is getting chipped because of the jail. That's awesome. You have to appreciate as well that this is some of the hardest material in the series to adapt, I think. Uh, there were hints about the... Uh, oh, that's new. Is Shaz Domino going to appear? A part of me thinks they might just get rid of Shaz Domino. Now it's time for Driscoll as well. Oh my god, Sturmitter all over the place. Uh, he looks so much better than he did last week. I appreciate he was only in one shot last week, but he just looks really weird. He looks pretty good here. Will we see any of his fight with Chojiro? Again, I appreciate it probably wasn't really much of a fight, but... That's... Damn, man. Oh my god, it's like so... You know what? I kind of feel like a part of me thinks... You know, with this uncensored nature, it's going to be difficult to go back to the original series, the original anime. Because this is so much better. I just think I just think the series should have always been uncensored like this. It just works works really well. But it, but in particular, it's very important for this arc, I think. Oh, that's good. That looks awesome. Driscoll actually looks pretty good here as well. Like, he looks so much better than he did last week. But, uh... I don't think we're going to be seeing you for much longer, mate. Oh, this is an old uh, soundtrack, isn't it? The good thing about the rapid pace of these episodes is that crazy stuff is happening all the time. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. First off, Sasaki Biz Barnkai looks really awesome here. Secondly, that's cool they changed the colour from gold to purple to indicate the different person using it. I feel like that that's interesting because it was a bit weird that the digitally coloured manga had it as purple and yet like everything else was showing it as gold for Sasakibi. That's a really nice kind of compromise to explain away the difference. Again, the art of these faces up close like that just look fantastic. Love the colouring and the lighting on these scenes is so nice. It still is a bit weird seeing Yamamoto quote unquote young. <laughs> it's cool though. One thing I'm not sure about, which it would be interesting to know in the comments, if you guys know, does young Chojiro have the same voice actor as, you know, older Chojiro? Because it doesn't sound that similar to me. And he's supposed to be considerably younger, so that might make sense. It's just funny that the majority of Chojiro's lines would end up going to someone different. <laughs> Oh, this is cool. This is new. Actually seeing him use Barnkai against Yamamoto. Awesome. Yeah, that, this is well cool. I like seeing all this. His Barnkai really does look fantastic. R that is so... Okay, that's awesome. I love the little details. I love that taking the lightning bolts onto his blade. That's so cool. Those tiny little additional details are exactly the sort of thing that the anime will really excel at including. Little things like getting to see even flashes of the battle with Zaraki and the three stern ritter. That's pretty much what I was really wanting. This is a, an old soundtrack as well. I can't remember the name off the top of my head. I like the way they are using the old soundtracks quite liberally, but it's working really well for me. Oh wait, this is Nightmare, isn't it? Yeah, it's just, isn't this my favourite soundtrack? <laughs> I mean, it's a remix. I'm pretty sure it is. That gives me hope. I think it is anyway, I'm not entirely sure, but it gives me hope that they will use this in that place that I said they should use it, which is when Rukia defeats Az. Chojiro's Bankai looking really, really good. I'm still thinking this episode could end where I thought it was going to end, which is with Yamamoto confronting Yuhabak at the end of 505. Oh, Driscoll, you picked on the wrong guy. <laughs> Oh, I like Yamamoto's Captain Sayori shedding away from him. Because he keeps it on at this point, I think. I'm pretty sure he's still wearing it when he kills Driscoll. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god. Whoa, that is... 
Jeez, man. The fact that you actually, like, see him reduced to a bone and then just to dust is... That soundtrack as well. Wow. And this looks beautiful as well. These shots look amazing. I love the... that. Oh, my God. I tell you what. I tell you what, right now. Just based on these shots with how nice they look, that is amazingly cool. Holy crap. Uh, the fight coming up is going to look spectacular. Oh, it's Momo. I don't think we've seen it yet, have we? All Shinji's done this invasion so far has just run. Oh, we're about to see Kang Du's face for the first time. Yep, there he is. Nice. <laughs> he looks great. Awesome. I think that is the same shot of Komamura they used in trailer one, but obviously just with different lighting, isn't it? <laughs> nice. I get Kyoraku taking on Robert now, I think. Yeah, I think this upcoming fight is... It could look genuinely amazing if we're lucky. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, it's the end. I thought it, I thought my internet cut out or something for a second then. Okay, I wasn't expecting that ending. That's really random. That's halfway through a chapter. Well, it's not halfway through a chapter. About three quarters of the way through a chapter, I think. Hmm. Is there a precedent for that? I don't know. Either way, that was awesome. <laughs> it was another great episode. They just... I'm like, I'm very, like, happy that they are nailing some of these moments. Maybe they're not exactly how I imagine them, but I still think in this particular medium, they're, they're, they are... They seem to understand the gravity of these moments, the importance. Yes, it's still going very, very fast. But um, I, st I think for the most part, it is still re it's really working for me. Let's just see if there's a poem at the end here. Um, oh, not a poem. Whoa, okay. Oh, they're just carrying on with 505. Is this a preview? Oh, Kenpachi. So it is going to end where I thought it was going to end. <laughs> oh my god. There you go. The first official read of his name. Wow, that looks amazing. Ooh, <laughs> that's going to be good. You know it's going to be good. And there's a poem. The heart burns even though the rain falls. I know what that... I tell you what, I know what that panel of it, of his toes is as well. <laughs> Next episode's the fire. Very cool, man. I thought that was awesome. Yeah. I wasn't expecting an additional scene at the end. That just sort of came out of nowhere. But that was also fantastic. Um, yeah. Yeah. Really, really hyped. Um, can't wait to put this into the spoiler review format. Because there's another. There's just a lot to talk about again. Um, but yeah, I thought that was really, really great. Once again, I loved it. Uh, just so much cool stuff going on. You know, the first invasion. I'm actually thinking as well. I'm really appreciating now the overcast sky. I think it is actually working really well. Anyway. It's pretty late here. <laughs> Fortunately, I had to do this quite late. Again, I apologise for that. Um, but really awesome episode once again. Let me know in the comments below, guys, what you thought of episode 5, Wrath as a Lightning. Stay tuned, of course, for the in-depth spoiler review and discussion coming in a few days. And until then, I guess I'll catch you later. Thanks to everyone who is a patron of the channel. As always, I really do appreciate all of your support. Make sure to hit subscribe if you haven't done already. And until next time, guys, I'll catch you later. I'll see you then.